Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and today we're going to walk through setting up a product in Shopify. All right, so your first step is going to be on your homepage, go to your product section. And up in the top right corner, click Add Product. All right. For integration with Shirt Agency, we need a very descriptive title so we know what we're talking about when we see an item. So let's say our first product is a shield logo. So now we are going to go in and upload an image. And this is the first variant is our blue T. We're going to open it. And then for this design, we have more than one variant. So we're going to click the red t-shirt as well. Okay. Down here in pricing is where you're going to set up your basic pricing for your t-shirt on the website. And then in inventory and barcode, we are going to ignore this and add it into the variant section. All right, so here we have our size variant. And now we're going to have our color variant with and you click add another option. So we have small. Medium. And large and then we have red we have Caribbean blue all right all your variants are gonna pop up here in the bottom so for shipping it's easy to have a SKU or a stock keeping unit what the SKU does is helps anyone search for your item pretty quickly. SKUs are supposed to be short, but they're not the same as a barcode. Barcodes are for outside products and SKUs are for in-store. So a basic SKU system we like to use is your first digit is going to be the type of apparel. So one will be a t-shirt. Then we'll have a space to add extra information. And then we'll have the design, which will be the first design. And then this is a small red. So we will have R for red and then S for small. And we'll go down to the next one. It's going to be 101. Then we're going to do C for Caribbean blue and small. And we're just going to go through our products and make sure all of them have unique SKU numbers. If you also have all your products already set up, you can go through and upload your files in the upload section. All right, and you're going to go and save your product. All right, once you save your product, these are all going to upload to your Shopify store. As you can see, this one didn't properly upload, so we'll go back and add an image. We'll try to upload this again. All right, now it's successfully updated, and we will go through and edit our variants one by one so they are proper. So here we have a small red. We will choose one of the two images we just uploaded. We'll choose the red one for this. And then we're gonna come down here into weight. Now weight's very important. It's how you determine shipping costs. So for a basic t-shirt, a small t-shirt is going to be about six ounces. 
If you're selling internationally, you're gonna need the tariff code. Um, for this t-shirt, it's gonna be 620, 520. But it all depends on what type of t-shirt you're selling at the time. Cotton and polyester have different tariff codes as do hoodies and other product variants. All right, so we're gonna save that and go up here and click on the next product. Choose the image. This one's blue. And we're gonna go six ounces again and enter in our tariff code. So the larger the size, the more it's gonna weigh. This one is gonna be seven ounces. And have the same tariff code. And we'll go through one by one and change every product to look like that. So for additional variants that aren't the same products, so say you have the shirt, but you're selling it on a scoop neck tee. We're gonna click scoop neck tee where this one has already been set up. As you can see, the price is gonna be different and we're gonna set up the SKUs so it, the first number is a different product. So two is gonna be the scoop neck V. Our description is gonna say women's tribal and scoop neck t-shirt. And then it'll be a separate product in your store. So for hoodies, this hoodie has a different print on it. It has a print in the top left chest. It's going to have, again, a different price. And then it's gonna be three for hoodie and then two for the other design. All right, well, that is how to set up a product. If you have any questions, feel free to look at shirtagency.com and click the link below for more information.